I have an image open here called sunset.jpg, which you can find in the info folder. So again, you know, the nice image. However, I do not want to see this cable and this pole because it's very distracting. And this building here is kind of ugly. And if we could, it would be nice to get rid of the other building here. So we just got um, just a lighthouse and this lovely sunset. So in order to do this, there's a couple of ways we can achieve it. There's two different types of healing and retouching tools. Before we do that, I do, however, need to go to the layers panel and go down to the bottom and click on this button here, the plus to create a brand new layer. In older versions of Photoshop, that's shown as a little blank page with a corner peeled over. So if I click on that, it will give me a brand new empty layer above the original artwork. So any edits that I make that I put in layer one will appear in front of what's in the background layer. So I'm going to double click on that and call that retouching work and then press return and make sure that layer is active. So you can see how it's, uh, if I left click on the background layer, that's now active. If I left click on the retouching work layer, that now is shaded in a slightly darker gray and it's now active. Whatever I do will affect that layer only. And I can just drag this back over here out of the way. And then if I pick up my zoom tool, zoom in nice and close to this region down here, get a good clear view, hold down the space bar to pan and click and drag, let go of the mouse, let go of the space bar. And then I need to go to one of the healing and retouching tools. Now you can press the J key on the keyboard, J for joy, and that will activate the group of tools that we need. So if I hover over here now, click and hold down the left mouse button, the spot healing brush tool is very effective. So I'll click on that to make it active. And then we need to focus on the settings for this tool across the top in the options bar. So the mode in here needs to be set to normal. And what type of edit do you want to make? Well, this is going to be content aware. So Photoshop is going to do the bulk of the hard work for us. Then we need to turn on the checkbox for sample or layers because at the moment, the, the layer that we're working in, which is called retouching work, is completely empty. There is nothing for it to sample. So we need to be able to sample from all layers in the document. We also need to make sure finally that the brush tip size is appropriate. And what I mean by that is, as you can see here, I have this black, very thin ring region on screen. That is the size that when I click and drag with the mouse, it will remove those pixels where I click and drag over and replace them for new ones. So I would say that really the size of my brush in here is about right. It's 19 pixels. And the way you can change that is just left click on there. You'll get a size value. You can drag that to the right to make it bigger. And if you hover your cursor outside, you can see a preview of that. Generally speaking, you want to make sure that your brush size is big enough to be able to just drag along something and completely remove it. You don't want to leave anything behind because this tool tend to try and blend it in and smudge the colors into your image. So yeah, something in the late teens in there will be fine. Hit the return key on the keyboard. And then from here, I'll hover my cursor at the start of the cable, click and hold down the mouse, keep it held down and then drag along in here like so. And you'll see that the area that I'm going to affect once I release the left mouse button and I'll stop here, this will be the first section of my edits. It's removed the cable. It does a pretty good job. I'll hold down the space bar, click and drag to be able to view this nice and clearly. And then I'll click and hold down the mouse, drag down here, and I can drag around this portion here, around and then down and let go of the mouse. And that does that for us and it removes it in there. Now, if you don't like these small portions in here, you can always click and drag over them just to see if Photoshop will do something a little bit more visually pleasing, but that is a great way to be able to remove those things in an image that we don't want to see. And that's done with a spot healing brush tool. That's the first half of this exercise. Second half, if I hold down the space bar and pan, we're going to remove this large tower from here, which is pretty ugly. And that'll be with content aware fill.